there's an energy production within the acceleration down the slope. I know you're 15, Braden, so I'll make this simple. Essentially, what we wanna do is we wanna maximize the three sources of energy that we see in the pitching delivery. The amount of acceleration that we can have going down the slope, right? We're the only overhead athletes that can throw on a slope, so we wanna maximize that. It's essentially utilizing gravity within the slope. Think about trail running, right? You're probably gonna run faster downhill than you are flat, right? So we wanna maximize the acceleration down the slope, and then we wanna maximize our rotational energy. That's what we talk about in with hip shoulder separation. It's gonna account for a majority of it, and then the ground force energy right? The energy that we're putting into the ground. So going into the acceleration aspect, this is where a lot of younger guys kind of fall victim of uh, limiting their acceleration because of instability issues. If we look at the initial lift, right? Perfect world scenario. As we lift, we should be shifting our center mass somewhat forward towards our desired target to express energy. This is what I would call initial move forward momentum. So as the lead leg lifts, the body is going to start to shift forward to, like I said earlier, maximize this energy production down the slope. You see a lot of times with younger guys is what they'll do in terms of this perception of power, they'll get into this hip coil. Not saying that this hip coil is essentially wrong, but it makes them feel as if they're, they're, they're you know, getting power from their, their drive leg. This is where I think it can get misinterpreted because we know that there's energy to be had in our loading of this, this drive leg, right? So what we see here as we descend from leg lift is storing up energy in this, in this drive leg, right? And putting energy into the ground. That's the ground force energy that we want. Now, the thing that happens within, like I said, younger guys with instability issues is they'll actually try to shoot backwards to defy this forward gravity, right? So if you think about it, again, I have a video in there, you'll see in the report, trail running analogy, right? So if you're, if you're going down, a, uh, if you're mountain climbing or whatever, and you're going down, I'm from Northern California, so it makes sense. If you're going down, you're starting to like pick up a lot of speed and you go, holy shoot, I can't freaking, I can't, I can't run this fast. So you try to start to like, you know, get on your heels and backpedal and slow yourself down. It's the same thing within pitching delivery. So there's gravity, there's acceleration to be had with gravity, but if our brain believes that we don't have the required stability and strength to maximize this energy down the slope, whether it be the lead leg block, the stability required for that, the acceleration aspect of it, then it's gonna wanna shoot backwards, right? That's why I would call defying gravity. Now that move in and of itself alone isn't necessarily like bad, but what we're doing is we're, we're leaving a lot of potential energy to be had on the table. So to sum that up, lead leg lifts off the ground. I would like to see the shift of the body a little bit. Like this is a good example of, of Tristan McKenzie who, you know, like I said, similar kind of body frame. Tristan McKenzie can throw it up to 95 due to his, you know, maximizing what his body offers. So lead leg lifts you'll see the shift that he has going down towards his desired target, right? So there's no move here within his delivery in the initial move, the initial stages of his delivery, that's like, we gotta go backwards, right? Everything's gonna be acceptance of gravity going forward. So the lead leg lifts, the body starts to shift prior reaching peak leg lift, and now we can get into the second stage is instead of you know defying gravity descending from leg lift and shooting our trunk back and and so on and so forth what we do is we actually just keep center mass going and we find a way to load now this is a superior move right this is something that even i'll struggle with is the ability to load the drive leg and put force into the ground while still going forward all right dudes robbie Rowe here thank you for watching that video if you're interested in booking your own mechanical analysis you can click that link right there. Also tell you a little bit about the service and what it entails. Hit that link right there. Subscribe, please. You can also check out that video right there, which is related to the video that you just watched if you want to get some more context on that. All right, guys. Much love. God bless. Till next time. See ya. Strike three. You're out.